Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life. Having dreams in a dream, I wonder why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind. There's no way I can undo what I've done. Can we be strangers again? Start fresh like a mom. Hey you guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here for a rainy day clean with me. If you're new here, I'm a wife and a mom to two. I just had my second three and a half months ago and today we're doing a rainy day clean with me. You guys know how I get on rainy days. Super cozy to just stay inside and clean. That's what I like to do on rainy days, especially because in New York it has been raining nonstop and we've been stuck inside. It's so bad i feel like my seasonal depression is on high right now so i just got down and i started cleaning i'm cleaning my entire couch for the first time usually i'll just clean the cushion covers um but this time i'm gonna clean the whole body because we had some stains and i've been wanting to do this but because i was pregnant for so long and then postpartum I, these are all things that I've been wanting to do like you know when you just pass by like dirty baseboards or little things that I just couldn't do when I was pregnant and I'm so excited to be able to do them now so I'm doing that today I'm going to be deep cleaning my sofa the top cushions I always just throw in the wash and then the bottom cushions because they're they're removable as well but it's just too difficult for me to remove them um, I can if I want to but it's just not even worth the hassle I just use my little um, green Bissell machine. So first I take down all the cushions then I'm going to vacuum the sofa really really well which brings me into today's sponsor. I am using my new Procenic vacuum. I'm hope saying their name right. I always say that whenever I'm working with companies but they send me their P11 cordless vacuum cleaner. I love this thing you guys. I don't know if you guys noticed but I have not been using my cordless vacuum because it broke on me. I had a Bissell and yeah, that broke on me twice. But this vacuum that they sent me is amazing. It has such good suction power as I'm showing you guys here. It's super easy to operate. It has tons of different attachments that you'll see me use throughout the entire video. I'm in love with these attachments. It's super easy to empty out the bin. And one of the most exciting parts about this vacuum is that not only is it a cordless vacuum, um, but it also has a detachable mop base, which I'll be showing you guys here in a second, where you can fill it up with a little bit of water or a little bit of floor cleaner like Fabuloso or something like that. And you basically have like, it's almost like having a built-in Bona mop into your vacuum cleaner or like a Swiffer mop built into your vacuum cleaner. So it's super easy. This vacuum is amazing. Again, it has um, a detachable battery. Um, it has up to 50 minute runtime. And trust me, I've been testing it out on my floors. It will last me like two to three days because I vacuum multiple times a day. And what I've noticed too is that you don't even need to run this vacuum at the highest power like I used to have to do with my previous vacuum to get good suction. So it works even better because you could get a really long runtime if you leave it on the lowest power. Obviously, the highest power. Um, the higher you put the power, the less time you're going to get with any vacuum. But um, yeah, it's just amazing. I use it all throughout this video, multiple different um, attachments to it. And what's even better is they gave us an amazing discount, you guys. I am about to wow you guys right now. This vacuum is currently retailing on Amazon. It's one of their top vacuums for $329.99. And they gave me a 50% off coupon for you guys, which takes off $165. And right now, Amazon has a 15% code. And you can actually combine these codes and get this vacuum for $125 when you do all the shipping and handling and all that stuff. So definitely, definitely, if you guys are in the market for a good vacuum, it is such a wonderful vacuum to clean with and you can't beat that price. You're not going to beat that price. So check out the link in my description for all the details. And yeah, thank you to ProScenic for sponsoring this video. So this is for all my moms with toddlers. I have a three-year-old and she constantly writes on my walls. So one of the most core things that I need when, um, core essentials, I will say, 
when I'm spring cleaning, which this is like beginning my spring cleaning. Next week, I will be posting my spring decorate with me. So stay tuned for that, which is partly why I started my cleaning because I at least, I at least like to have a clean couch before I add new pillar, pillows or whatever. So um, yeah, one of the core essentials that I need when I'm doing my spring cleaning is magic erasers. These things are amazing. I will generally do my spring cleaning room by room so I can focus on every little detail that's been bothering me throughout the entire year. So magic erasers are a must. And then, yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna be, again, vacuuming the sofa. I try to speed this up very, very heavily so that you guys don't get bored. But um, yeah, we're gonna be doing that, doing a deep clean. It feels so good to have a clean sofa. I know a lot of you guys are like, how can you have a white sofa with a toddler? Plus now I have another child, which will be which will grow into another toddler and yeah it's i only do a deep cleaning of the sofa about twice a year i like to do it before christmas and then around springtime um but that's it definitely i've learned my lesson this sofa was expensive if not i would have been got a darker sofa that's easier to maintain but i do love that it has um removable cushion covers so now i'm just showing you guys up close some of the stains that we have we have a dog accident on the corner here and then some other stains as well on the cushions my daughter was just potty trained so you know how that goes but that's why i needed to clean this you guys because it was it was not pretty okay and it was bugging me for a long time so i showed you guys the folic spray i love that thing usually i will use the bissell um green machine with whatever solution is supposed to go for that um i think it's the oxy spot and stain and i will spray the um folex on the the spots that really really need it and then i'll go with my bissel and i'll spray heavily as well um and soil the spots that need the deepest cleaning because not the entire couch needed cleaning but the bad thing about a white couch is that you when you have a stain you can't just clean the stain because if you just do the stain then when it dries up it'll leave a watermark so when you're going to clean this couch even though you're only needing to clean one or two stains you have to soil the entire thing so that no watermarks are left over so what i do is i do the spots that need it first so i can make sure i get them really wet and then the rest of the sofa i'll just do like a light soil so that you know i could just pass through it quickly and it'll dry up right away i just gotta pass through it one time so really on the only scrubbing and heavy duty work that i had to put in were for these stains the rest of the sofa was just wetting it just so that i won't have any watermarks left on my sofa so if that's just a pro tip if you're doing anything light colored you have to do the entire thing so that you don't have any brown watermarks left over um when somebody invents a product that you don't have to do that please let me know because that is so annoying but you have to let this sit for 15 minutes or so so i went ahead and wiped down all my glass surfaces while i had the sofa removed and then i'm just going to go ahead and scrub down this sofa and catch up with you guys in a bit no, i hope this is a phase that you were just dramatic that we still could be good that our love is elastic i'll make this right if you give me a chance oh i did it wrong and you did it right that's what you said when you started the fight We came to an end, I put up this fence But do you really mean that this is the end? One, two, three years of silence Then four, five, six, still another thing When my hair gets green, I lose my shape I'd still be missing you While I finish scrubbing down this couch, I might as well just tell you guys what's coming up on my channel because I know I've been really inconsistent and I'm so sorry again, getting used to a toddler and newborn. Well, he's not even a newborn anymore. He is three and a half months, but you know what I mean? Getting used to two kids has not been easy for me. And so YouTube has, my schedule has been kind of choppy, but I do plan to release a spring decorate with me next week i'm so excited i got a few new things i got new furniture and new, new new dining chairs which you guys will notice that i don't have dining chairs in this video when i'm mopping my dining room we got new dining um 
chairs, a new rug, and a few little spring things to spruce it up. I'm not doing a full-on decorating video. I usually take down everything and redecorate everything for every season. You guys already know that, but I'm doing things a little slower, and I think I'm going to pick back up around fall time. That's when, of course, I'll like decorate my whole house. He'll be a little older by then, um, seven, eight months, God willing, as always. Um, so... Yeah, but I am going to do a decorating video and then I'm going to jump into my spring cleaning videos after that room by room. And then you guys know that in the summer, that's when I like to do DIY projects because usually they'll involve like the saw and we use that outside and it's cold in the winter. So this summer we're, we want to do a board and batten in our entire upstairs hallway and revamp that area and paint all the doors a nice neutral color and just bring in more color to this all white house so I'm very very excited that's the first DIY that I want to do I have a few other things that I want to do this is my daughter's pee stain <laughs> TMI but potty training was was very hectic with the white couch but yeah I we do want to do that that's the first thing we want to do I'm still planning it out in my head like the measurements and all that stuff but we want to do a board and batten throughout the entire hallway take out the console table that we have there or console table, whatever, I don't know how you say it, but yeah, um, so that's one of the first projects we want to do, and then I have a few other projects that I want to take you guys along throughout the summer, so that's what you guys can look forward to is lots of spring cleaning and DIY projects, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Again, I'm hoping to get back on a consistent schedule, but if I take a break for whatever reason, you can always follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle here after I'm finished talking, and you can follow me on there. I'm more consistent, but if you notice I'm gone from YouTube and you don't follow me on Instagram to know what's going on, it's most likely because I'm taking a break, a mental break, because mentally, the physicalness of being a mother is not so hard. It's really the mental, the mental like the mental health issues that I'm having and just the capacity that you have to have in your brain to just take on a whole new schedule and a whole new life that you're responsible for. It's a lot. Um, I was just getting used to, I, I felt like I just got my life back when my daughter was two and a half and then that's when I got pregnant. And so, you know, when they're two and a half, things start getting easier. You could leave the house and it's not as hectic and all that stuff. And then bam, I got pregnant again. So I'm just getting used to this stage and I know this too will pass and yeah, but as I'm getting used to it, this is what my schedule is going to be like, choppy. But now I'm just showing you guys here. It took out the pea stain. I love the little green Bissell machine. I will link it down below. You guys know it always does an amazing job in my car, on my sofa. And now, before I give my floors a really deep clean and needed it because it's been raining and my dog goes in and out, I like to do this um, attachment and go through all the corners throughout the entire perimeter of my house because when you're vacuuming, like sometimes it could get pushed to the wall and the vacuum no vacuum can really get that close so when i want a real real deep clean i will go through with this small attachment on my vacuums and yeah and my floors feel so much cleaner it feels so much better because you know that every nook and cranny is vacuumed and mopped so especially by the back doors and the front doors and stuff that's where it does the most and then also going under your fridge because, you know, like under your fridge, things will get pushed. So vacuuming that and under your stove, try it, you guys. Your house will feel so much cleaner. So, yeah, I'm just going to vacuum up and then I'm going to do a mop and show you guys the damage at the end of the video. Show you guys everything all discombobulated but clean. And it's the best feeling ever. It was the best feeling ever. This was such a cozy night. After this, we ordered in food. And it was just a rainy, cozy day that we got to enjoy in our clean house. So I always thank the Lord for the small and big things. Because all good things come from Him. So yeah, I'm going to stop babbling now. And catch up with you guys towards the end of the video to say my goodbyes. <laughs> If you guys haven't tried adding a dish pod to your mop water, then I highly, highly suggest it. It really does. I originally saw it on TikTok and it really does make a difference. So 
go ahead and try that and then let me know how that worked out for you but yeah i'm just gonna finish mopping every single inch of these floors my first floor is just like a big great room everything is connected it's a full open floor plan so i just love mopping these floors because no i'm lying i don't love mopping these floors but i do love after i mop them like just seeing everything clean this whole big room nice and clean and glistening <laughs> but i love you guys i'll see you in my next one god willing as always it will be the spring decorating video so i hope you guys are looking forward to that god bless you god bless your families and yeah i'll see you guys soon bye